Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. In today's video, I'm still working with Ms. Jasmine Vialis of Integrated Practice Solutions. And today's question is, how does a coder get started in the medical coding profession? Okay guys, also in the description box, I have listed a link to Ms. Jasmine's YouTube channel right here on YouTube. Okay guys, stay tuned and let's get started. Okay, so how do you recommend someone would get started in a career in coding if they seem to have an interest or perhaps know someone or know that there's jobs out there in coding and maybe coding and billing? Um, how do you recommend that they get started in that particular career? What do they do first? Good question. Um, but I, I really wish they could find someone that they could talk to first about what exactly is medical coding? Because I'm amazed at how many people will come to me thinking medical coding is the encryption for software for a computer. And I have to say, no, this coding is not coding for a computer software. This is coding for healthcare. Totally different. Um, and then the, a lot of people think, okay, well, I understand it's a off, I won't have hands on patient care and it's a desk job, I want to do it, it sounds like something easy. Coding is not easy. At least I don't think it's easy. And I got a couple of years, more than 26 years in it. And I don't think it's easy, still don't think it's easy. So not the word I that want I people to understand that it's, right. It's not anything quick and easy to do. And you got to really put your heart and soul in this to really understand what's going on. But once you talk to somebody in healthcare and it sounds like something you're interested in doing, then I recommend taking an intro type course to understand exactly what medical coding is. Do a lot, there's, like you said, there's YouTube videos. There are, um, if you just Google, I mean, I'm amazed at how big medical coding has gotten. I mean, people used to always tell me, oh, it's gonna be like medical transcription. It's gonna go away, the software is gonna eventually take over coding. I don't see that happening. Software enhances, it helps us, but I don't see software being able to do medical coding completely. I would agree. I think there's, uh, there's too many different types of scenarios and, and especially from a provider perspective, the understanding of what the provider uh, was, was trying to communicate through the note and really being able to articulate that and perhaps then trigger a question back to the provider, all of those types of conditional things, it's really challenging to, to trust that a software would be able to execute it 100%. I do think that they'll probably get try to get really close to, to making it, but it's not, it, I think it's still going to require the expertise of a final look of, a, of, an, of an experienced and certified coder. Um, so great. So let's say on that topic, do you recommend any particular programs when someone has an interest um, in starting either an intro course or has decided they want to go ahead and get trained in coding? What, what programs would you recommend? Or do you recommend it? And that's a good question too, because in the beginning I used to recommend programs, but now that medical coding is going completely online, I have too many emails coming in daily saying, I signed up for an online medical coding course and I feel like I'm left out in cyberspace. Mm -hmm. Or the biggest one I'm getting lately is I took a three day coding course. I went down, took a Friday, Saturday and Sunday seminar weekend class to learn how to, how to code and sit for my CPC exam. Passed the class, got my CPC um, credential and I can't code. I don't know what I'm doing. Right. <laughs> I mean, I'm shocked. They don't even know how to use the code books. And I'm thinking, no, no, no. I would rather, I would rather learn slow and correctly than a quick three-day quick learn, pass my test, and be out here and can't code. Mm. Right. You need some, a, a, some, a program that, that's going to teach you true application of the tools that you're learning. It's one thing to be able to just check the boxes on the tests and a whole other thing to actually be able to do the work. So Correct. And you've got to understand what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, we've seen the same thing even in the billing world. A lot of programs out there and, and you know, it, there's, there's a lot of misconceptions too. Or it's like, well, I took the program 
And then I went and got a job in this specialty thinking that program was going to be perfect. Like for us in billing, you know, you take a program for a general, a general billing certificate, and then you go and, and want to work for an orthopedic surgeon or something, you're going to need to have a better understanding oh. in the, in the billing for that specialty, for that area with all the different carriers, the provider might be in network with. So the same thing applies. I'm sure for coding, you've got to be really kind of well-versed in how to adjust. You don't necessarily have to necessarily have to, to drill down into specialized coding for every specialty, but it is helpful to know how how to apply your the tools that you that you hopefully have learned in your program to the real life scenario in a particular specialty. And I think a lot of programs miss that part of really giving them hands-on experience. Um, mm -hmm. so, so when you say uh, the training, so they do an intro program, they go get a program. What kind of things are they looking for in a program when, when they're looking to select a coding program? Well, I, I would look for more hands-on. I mean, I know it's so easy to just throw it out there, online medical coding class, but I'd want a class that would at least, even though it's online, mm -hmm. I get to meet with the instructor once a week to go over my lessons or my assignment. Okay. Um, I have that connection with my instructor that should I have questions, I have a dedicated, a solely dedicated site that I can go to to deal with my other classmates as well as my instructor with questions that I might have. And that I have a lot of resources that I can fall back on should I need or have questions. Right. Not just right. give me a book and throw me out there. No. Yes. Yeah, that's the part that I really, I love about programs, even from the billing perspective for both billing and coding, if they give them this, the real feeling of a classroom environment. You, yep. you, we understand that the flexibility of and the appeal of learning from the comfort of your own home or your convenient time is, is right. just, it's, it can't be, it's unmatched, right? You, you, can't, you can't choose a physical classroom every time and that's a great thing to be able to enjoy the flexibility of an online class, but a class should really be able to give you an opportunity to, to still create the environment where you're connected with classmates, perhaps doing projects or things like to further your studies together where you get right. to collaborate with those classmates and make sure you're really all absorbing the information um, and, and can take this into the marketplace. It's, a, it's, a, it's an unfortunate circumstance for all parties when people leave these programs that are inadequate and then join the healthcare workforce because not everybody loses, you know, everyone right. loses. The, right. You as the, as the coder, because you're, you're going out and marketing yourself, you are obviously going to take a lot more time to be able to get a job done, eventually probably going to, to be turned over in a practice because of not being able to fulfill your tasks. But then on the other side of it, you've got the patient involved who, you know, has this bill out there that in the ultimate end, if it doesn't get reimbursed and doesn't get paid by their insurance, there's a chance it doesn't get coded properly, that they might be liable for services. And then you have the provider who definitely might be at a loss because of this, the, the inadequacies of the coder. So it's, everybody gets hurt in the process. So I, I would... Yeah, I would say, you know, spend some time to really like make a decision on a, on a program that is going to give you the confidence when you leave to know the job, to know what it is in a day, on in any given day to actually sit down and say, I can do this confidently without the need of someone else in the practice or in that business necessarily to work with me 100% of the time. Obviously, right. there's going to be some training and some I'm getting used to specialty, but you should be able to know the process of coding pretty, pretty comfortably um, and to be able to apply it to any specialty that you're moving into. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They can't even open a code book. I'm thinking, or they don't know where the index is to look up terms in a medical code book. And it's frustrating. I know they weren't properly trained. Mm hmm. Yeah, they said so they went to a program and someone said, oh, just get this thing and you type this, this de definition in or this uh, term in and that's all it is. <laughs> and we'll give you a code, mm -hmm. but is it the right code? Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. 